hey, I'm trying hard to be, I don't know. I've never been like a very realistic person. <laughs> it's just like in a day I'm like positive that it could include things like um, all the chores, all the homeschooling, all the loving tone of voice, all the inbox, all the anticipated hopes and dreams, maybe some casual reading. Um, so far I have yet to accomplish such a day and yet the next day, uh, my friend and I always joke that like, um, in our brains, everything resets after 24 hours. So if you're like completely destroyed with fatigue, you like get six hours of sleep and then you just assume like reboot, <laughs> I should be back to hundred percent. So I just moved. I am in quarantine doing all the things that quarantine requires, which is to say not leaving and staying safe. And, uh, I am not sleeping. So I thought maybe just like a blessing for a hot minute. <laughs> and one of my favorites in the world of theological higher education is Walter Brueggemann. Uh, he used to read these uh, prayers that he wrote before his giant lectures to his uh, seminary students. I thought you might like this one. It's called At the Dawn. Our first glimpse of reality this day every day is your fidelity. We are dazzled by the ways you remain constant among us, in season, out of season, for better, for worse, in sickness and mouth. You are there in watchfulness as we fall asleep. You are there in alertness when we awaken and we are glad. Before the day ends, we will have occasion to flag your absence in indifference, but not now, not at the dawn. Before the day ends, we will look away from you and relish our own fidelity and our own virtue in mercy. Now at the dawn, our eyes are fixed on you in gladness. We, as only that your faithfulness permeate every troubled place we are able to name, that your mercy move against the hurts to make new, that your steadfastness hold firmly what is too fragile on its own. And we, being the day, in joy, in hope, and in deep gladness. Amen. So maybe have a little bit more experiences of the newness of the dawn and not the lingering dragness of all of these days. <laughs> so bless you. Bless you and your dawn mentality. <laughs>